Should we believe Tesla in its new video update that the events were truly autonomous just days after we saw robots being teleoperated by humans at the Wii robot event? It's a valid question, especially after Tesla's latest update showcasing the impressive capabilities of its humanoid robot Optimus. The timing of this update comes so soon after the event that many were left wondering how much of the robot's actions were truly independent given that humans were quietly controlling them in the background. But now, with Tesla's latest video, we're being told Optimus has achieved a whole new level of autonomy. But can we really take Tesla's word for it? In the new update video, we see Optimus doing some remarkable things. It's confidently walking, navigating unseen spaces, avoiding obstacles and people in real time, and even doing some complex tasks like walking upstairs and carrying heavy loads. Tesla also highlights the robot's ability to interact with humans by handing over items upon request, whether through gestures or voice commands. Optimus can also dock itself into a wall-mounted charging station using its rear cameras and then return to work after charging. Tesla's update video goes further to suggest that multiple Optimus robots are building a shared understanding of their surroundings. This means that if you have a fleet of these robots in a factory, they can learn from one another and become more efficient workers. And that's a big deal because it hints at a future where Optimus robots aren't just performing basic tasks, but are working together, sharing information and evolving as a collective. This could be game changing in industries like manufacturing, but the big question remains, should we trust what we're seeing? Just days before this update video, Tesla showed off Optimus at the Wii robot event, and many of us were impressed by the humanoid robot walking around and interacting with people. But then we learned that humans were controlling much of what Optimus was doing that night. The robots were teleoperated for certain tasks, like serving drinks and having conversations with guests, and only a few aspects of its movement, like walking in a straight line, were controlled by AI. Yet at the event, there was no clear acknowledgement from Tesla that these interactions were assisted by humans. But a few days later, Tesla claims that these new skills seen in the video, like exploring new spaces autonomously, interacting with people and charging itself, are all driven by AI and neural networks running on the robot's own embedded computer. But can we believe that? If Tesla wasn't upfront about the teleoperation at We Robot, what's stopping them from controlling certain aspects of the robot in this video too? They haven't admitted to how much human assistance was involved at the earlier event, so there's naturally going to be scepticism about whether Optimus is truly autonomous in this new showcase. The final part of the update featured Optimus serving food and drinks to the Tesla team, a clear sign that Tesla is pushing the narrative of its robot becoming more integrated into human environments. While it's certainly an impressive feat, this is where the trust issue reaches its peak. Is this real autonomy? or just a well-edited demonstration to create the illusion of a fully independent robot. As Milan Kovac VP and Head of Engineering for Optimus at Tesla mentioned in his post, there's still a lot of work to be done. But he also emphasised that Optimus is learning to interact with humans, which would imply a move towards true autonomy. He noted that all of the neural networks used by Optimus for tasks such as manipulation, obstacle detection and navigation run on the robot's embedded computer. That's a significant technical achievement if true, after the recent teleoperation revelation cases from Wii Robot event, one has to have doubts. Tesla claims that Optimus's new skills, exploring unseen spaces, walking upstairs, interacting with people and autonomously charging, are all driven by a single neural net running in real time on the robot's computer. If this is indeed the case, we are witnessing a major leap forward in robotics. However, without more transparency from Tesla about how autonomous these actions truly are, it's hard to fully trust these advancements. Big, huge changes like hmm. this, you know? Definitely. With this tech. Yeah, so this new Optimus video, everyone's talking about it. Right. Tesla's showing off all these upgrades, like it can navigate around stuff. Mm -hmm walk upstairs hmm. it can respond to like voice commands even yeah. self-docking and charging oh, wow. all this stuff they're really pushing the ai angle right but this article we're looking at makes a really good point like yeah should we just take their word for all this well you know what i mean yeah that's the big question isn't it right it is and this article does a good job of reminding us about that we robot event where optimus was like the main thing yeah and 
I mean, at first, everyone was like blown away. Right? Are you Optimus is like serving drinks, having conversations. Uh, but then later we found out like a lot of that was, yeah. let's just say, human assisted. <laughs> yeah, it was a little less autonomous than the. Yeah, a little less autonomous than they were making it out to be. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> at the time. So that kind of threw a wrench in things. For sure. And now everyone's looking at this new video with like a closer eye. Makes sense. Like, yeah. is this actually autonomous or is this like yeah. another demo they've like carefully put together? Yeah, like a very expensive like right. puppet show. Exactly. And, you know, it makes sense to be skeptical. Totally. Like in the video, Optimus mm -hmm. is moving around all this stuff. Yeah. Avoiding obstacles. No problem. Yeah, right. But at the We Robot event, it could barely go in a straight line, mm -hmm. like without anything in its way. Yeah. And that's the point the article makes. Like, yeah. Did Tesla really figure all that out that quickly? That's what they're saying. Yeah. Like, that's a big jump. It is a big jump. In a short amount of time. Huge jump in a short time. So basically saying, hold on a second. Right. Like, are we sure about this? Exactly. And it's not just about it, like, moving around. Yeah. The article also points to, but at We Robot, right. it seemed like it needed help just to move, yeah. like, basic stuff. Yeah, like, is this, it makes you wonder. The real AI breakthrough. Right. Is this for real? Or a really good puppet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, those are the two options here. Right. Like, it's either amazing yeah. or, like, very misleading. It's one or the other. Right. Big question. And the article's kind of waving his hands like, For sure. Don't forget what happened. Remember the... At that last event. Right. Like, they're saying verify. Don't just trust what you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just about taking their word for it. What do you think about that? I think it's about finding that balance, you know? Yeah. Like, being excited, but also being like, oh, okay, let's look at this a little closer. Right. Like, we'll keep talking about as we go through this. But yep. that self-charging thing is another interesting one. Yeah, let's get into that. Okay. Yeah, the self-charging is interesting. Right. Like, on the one hand, it seems pretty obvious. Like, if yeah. it's supposed to be on its own mm -hmm. out there doing stuff, it's got to be able to, like, yeah. charge itself like you don't want it to be like can you plug me in right exactly yeah but the article is saying like let's look a little deeper here yeah is this like really autonomy like it knows when its battery is low it's okay. like i gotta go recharge and yeah. then it goes and does it tesla keeps talking about this multi-robot learning mm -hmm. like these things can share data and learn from each other right kind like, of like it's a cool idea. Yeah. Like a hive mind almost. Yeah, like a collective robot brain. Right, exactly. That's kind of scary, but also really cool. It is pretty wild when you think about where it could go. Imagine like a whole team of these Optimus things. Right. Just it's... like learning and getting better. Working together. Constantly. Yeah, and the thing is... Like an ant colony or something. Yeah, kind of, but... For sure. They're so... shooting rockets into space. Yeah, you can't deny that. So you can't just ignore them. Right. But... This lack of transparency, especially mm -hmm. after that we robot thing. Yeah. It makes you wonder. It does. You know. So where does that leave us? That's the big question, right? Because everyone listening is like. Yeah. Are we pre-ordering this thing? So you're going to get one. Stick with my Roomba. Yeah. <laughs> I think the main thing is. Yeah. We're in a really interesting time. For sure. With technology. Yeah. It's moving so fast. Like it could go anywhere. Yeah. Huge potential, but also like. A lot of unknowns. A lot of unknowns. You know, like, what if it goes wrong? What if it does go wrong? Yeah. We just don't know. Exactly. And I think that's a perfect place to take a quick break. Sounds good. So we've got this robot that could, like, totally change how we live yeah. and work. But we're not even sure if it's real. It's a weird spot to be in. Like, what's the takeaway for, like, yeah. the average person listening? I think the most important thing to remember is that yeah. this isn't just about, like, ones and zeros. You know, it's not just about the tech itself. It's about us. Right, like how we react to it. Exactly. It's about how we as like yeah. a society choose to use it and shape it. Yeah, because it's easy to get caught up in the cool factor. Oh, totally. Robots are cool. Yeah. Who doesn't love a robot? Right. But there's all this other stuff to think about. Right, like the bigger picture. Like yeah. what about jobs? If they can do our jobs for us. Yeah, what happens to us? Yeah. And what about privacy? With all the cameras and sensors and stuff. Exactly, they're going to be watching us. Yeah, in our homes. Yeah. And like, what if they start making decisions? Ooh, that's a scary thought. Yeah, like what if they make the wrong ones? Right, and whose fault is that even? Exactly. Like well, every cool thing comes with a... A scary thing. Yeah, a what if. Totally. And that's where everyone listening comes in. Yeah. Like, we're all part of this. We're writing the future right now. Right. And we don't have all the answers? No one does. But we got to talk about it. Stay informed. Right. Stay in the loop. 
and like make sure the future yeah is one we actually want to live in not just get stuck with exactly so yeah. it's not about yeah picking a side not team robot versus team human yeah it's about understanding how we fit into all of this like how it all works together exactly and that takes us back to this article right like they're not saying tesla's bad or that robots are evil yeah they're just saying just be careful yeah think for yourself don't just take their word for it especially with a company like tesla yeah they're known for doing their own thing and not always telling us everything right a little hush hush yeah so trust but verify or maybe, maybe verify we... then trust <laughs> yeah like see if it's actually legit exactly do your homework and then decide if you believe the hype there you go and for everyone out there yeah wondering if optimus is gonna be making their coffee soon right like should i throw out my coffee maker I think the message is like, stay curious. Yeah, stay informed. Keep asking questions. Don't be afraid to be like, yeah. what's the deal with this robot? Exactly. And who knows? Yeah. Maybe one day we'll be... Sipping our robot-made coffee. Yeah, you know, laughing about this Looking back. conversation. Yeah, on the good old days. <laughs> but until then, keep exploring, keep thinking. Keep digging. And we'll catch you on the next deep dive.